Hello, it's Mr. Nigel from Mustardland, talking from the kitchen at half past eleven. Unfortunately, I didn't really make a video today. I just didn't seem to focus on any one particular thing. I just have a few snippets of things that happened, which I shall bung on the end of this non-video. Hopefully do something better tomorrow. Just before that, I took a couple of minutes out of my busy day to break my rear number plates. Here's my solution. A temporary solution is to stick the plate to another plate with some epoxy resin and some double-sided tape. And then stick on a couple of batteries to wait, press it down. You know when you wear your glasses on top of your head? It looks like this. They have some new ramps at the garage next door. And on one of the posts are the instructions. Clearly it says here, read the instructions. To the left, look at what you're doing. And below that, with a red line through it, it's telling you not to mess around with it. But to the left, it's telling you make sure you do bring the thing down in your foot if a car falls off run away no crash test vans once the car is in the air don't go underneath it but do push it and don't do whatever this man with a flat cap do now over the past couple of days i've been thinking about crime not committing crime of course but why people do it and how they get away with it the likes of me spend every day out working and sometimes only just about make a living, only just about get by. While there are others who make quite substantial amounts of undeserved money doing things they shouldn't be. Now in Rochdale there are a few quite well known car thieves. I'm not going to bother mentioning them their names because they don't need any more publicity. But, one thing occurred to me the other day is these people are known, everybody knows who they are, they've been caught, they've been uh, punished, punished, and then gone straight back out and carried on doing it. And, in this day and age, where there are CCTV cameras everywhere, everybody's got a mobile phone with a, a, a camera on it and can upload straight to YouTube or any one of the social media outlets, you'd imagine that people would be a bit more careful than what they would have been in the past where there were no cameras. But I think it actually works the opposite way around. People are so used to being seen doing whether it's something they should be doing or shouldn't be, and they become so blasé about it, that's why we have these uh, car thieves and catalytic converter thieves doing it in broad daylight in supermarkets and outside people's houses because no one's going to stop them and they've realized that no one's going to stop them because they're being filmed all the time whereas when you're not being filmed you don't know what's going to happen and so i reckon that we could be well on the way to a new kind of criminal the kind of criminal that sends you a message via Facebook to ask if you're in. And then when you say, yeah, they'll say, right, I'll pop round and steal some stuff off you then. And they may as well come and steal your items while you're there because you can tell them where they all are. And there's no point trying to stop them. And they'll tell you, don't try and stop me or you'll get done for assault. And that will be it. People inviting criminals into their home take all of their items so they don't get prosecuted. Brilliant. 